Um, so this is the question. It says an um, observer at origin of an inertial frame S. Okay, it's talking about a uh, reference frame, labeling them even. So let me draw a, a space time axis for these reference frames. That's gonna help me uh, mark the pieces of information I'm getting. So here's my space time axis for frame S. Okay, X and C T. Um, this observer, it says sees, but I'm gonna assume observes. Observes a flash bulb go off uh, at this uh, position. Ooh. Um, okay, let me just to make sure. Yeah, S prime is moving along shared X direction. Okay, so I'm going to kind of ignore this piece of information about the Y and Z coordinate axis because um, nothing interesting happens along those axes. As a reminder, this is the Lorentz transformation. CT is equal to gamma, CT minus beta X, oops, CT prime. <laughs> X prime is equal to gamma, X minus beta CT, and then Y prime and Z prime. This is for two reference frames that are moving relative to each other along the X direction, Y prime and Z prime, Y and Z coordinates don't change. So I'm just gonna carry those along um, for now, ignoring that they exist and focus on for the time being, the time and position coordinates. So, so diagram only the, only the uh, time and position coordinates. Uh, this event happens at um, some place that I'm gonna say is 200 kilometers. 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers. And at time, um, trying to figure out, I think that's a time like separated. Okay, so um, um, the one times 10 to the minus four seconds, uh, two times 10 to the minus four seconds, three times 10 to the minus four, four times 10 to the minus four, okay, five, so 4.5 times 10 to the minus four seconds. So the description in the question is referring to this space-time coordinate where I have X is equal to 200 kilometers and the time coordinate or CT coordinate is a C times 4.5 times 10 to the minus four seconds. Wait, is it? Hmm. The scale here might be wrong if this turns out to be space-like separated rather than time-like separated. So it asks, at what time and position in the S prime system did a flash occur? If S prime is moving along shared X direction with S at a velocity V is equal to 0 0.8 C. Okay. Um, let me just do a quick check. It's sorry. It's beginning to bother me uh, if this is gonna be on. Uh, um, it, it does matter <laughs> whether it's a space like or time like separated. I mean, I, I can work out the numbers without knowing that, but for the diagram, it does matter. So let me <laughs> just do that so that I can have a correct diagram. So four point five times uh, ten to the minus four. <laughs> times the speed of light, three times 10 to the eight uh, meters per second is equal to 135 um, meters. So it's less than 200 kilometers. Um, so, okay, it is a space like separated. So I should uh, uh, let my diagram reflect that, uh, which means this uh, set of stuff should be somewhere down here. And um, yeah, so I'll <laughs> adjust my diagram to reflect that this point here is 200 kilometers. And this point here is 4.5 times 10 to minus four seconds. Um, it's still not exactly to scale or very far from to scale, but this is at least close enough so that when I draw the, uh, world line of a light, then at least this is on the correct side. So, so the, the S prime coordinate system 
it's moving along the shared x direction um, at this velocity. So let me draw um, the space time axis for the, the S prime frame, the prime the frame. It should look like, um, so the time axis should look something like this, CT prime. And the position axis should look something um, I, I think it should look something like this. I'm trying to decide if this should have a T prime coordinate that's less than zero or greater than zero. We'll work out the numbers and figure out. The way I've drawn it, I drew it so that T prime coordinate will end up being negative. We'll see if it is. And um, I've already drawn it the way that the uh, question says they are, which is the, their origins coincide at t equals zero and t prime equals zero. That's the common convention. So, so the question asks, at what time and position in the S prime frame uh, did the flash occur? Um, okay, so I need to figure this out. Um, so I'm given beta. I think it's going to be convenient to uh, write out what gamma is going to be. So this is 0 0.8. This is already my beta. So let me write out gamma. My gamma is equal to 1 over square root of 1 minus beta squared. Or it's, um, yeah, let me just do it in a calculator. It's going to be 1 divided by parentheses 1 minus 0 0.8 squared, um, take the square root of these. Okay, equals, so my gamma is, um, yeah, I think there's a rational fraction, but I'll just write it down as decimal. 1.667, that should be enough precision. And, I think uh, I have almost uh, everything ready. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to calculate what CT is first and then um, use that to calculate CT prime and then divide out C. That's gonna help me <laughs> avoid uh, any unit related mistakes. So let me write out what CT is. I have the time value. 4.5 times 10 to the minus four seconds. Oh, and I just uh, did the calculation of CT on my calculator. Let me go back here. This was the calculation of CT. So um, so it was uh, 135 uh, kilometer. And I think I'm more or less ready. So I'm writing this in kilometers because my X is already given in kilometers. And this uh, difference that I'm gonna calculate it works out more easily if it's done in units of kilometers. So let me work out CT prime. So it has to be gamma times, so 1.667 times parenthesis, CT uh, 135 kilometers minus beta 0 0.8 unit less times X 200 kilometers. Um, yeah, that's uh, everything. P press equal sign. I get minus 41. Point uh, seven kilometers for city prime, minus 41.7 kilometers. Okay, and um, and uh, for the value of T prime that I'll plug it in, plug in, uh, I'll have to divide this by, uh, uh, you not might as well do that now, <laughs> I'm already here. So let me divide it by C or um, I'll multiply by a thousand for a kilometer to meters and then divided by C. Um, so three times 10 to the power of eight meters per second. Then the answer I get is minus 1.389 times 10 to the power of minus four seconds. So I think uh, looking at the instruction in the question, um, yeah, I'm already asked to give time in this unit. So I already have this front part in the unit that I want. 
And the, this minus sign is important. So it turns out I did draw this correctly. This event happens at a negative time, uh, time before the origin. Okay, so with that in, uh, let me do the calculation for X prime and I think I'll have all the uh, information necessary to plug in numbers or give the answer there. So, oh wait, what am I doing? <laughs> Um, so let me just plug into calculator 1.667 times parenthesis x coordinate 200 kilometers 200 minus um, beta 0 0.8 times ct I already had it before 135 kilometers kilometers are same unit so it'll all work out 135 parenthesis closed that's equal to 153 and that's already in unit of kilometers. So I don't, um, yeah, so let me just write it down. And I think that's already in the unit that I need to plug in. That's equal to 153.3 kilometers. And the question already asks me to use unit of kilometer for distances. Okay, I think I'm ready. So, um, so the answer here should be minus 40, oh, 1.389, uh, 153.3. Oh, and I need a Y and Z coordinates, 11 and five, which did not change. So that should be right. Um, I guess uh, we don't have that many questions that ask for answers in tuple notation. Um, that's why I do give a format into here. Hopefully that's uh, um, enough that, um, that, you know, format is okay. So, so yeah, it's, uh, um, so when you're answering question like this, technically you could just to uh, go straight into the Lorentz transformation and plug in these numbers. But I think it's useful to draw the space-time diagram because a lot of special relativity can be so unintuitive that a diagram like this helps make sense of your answers. Like when you get a negative answer here, the natural question to ask is, is it meaningful or not? And my answer is, yes, it is meaningful. It tells you which side of the X prime axis it's on. 